So, I mean, conditions haven't been ideal, but I'm looking at some of your numbers. 40 million passengers flown so far year to date across your entire group. It's up 17% from this time last year. Do you think conditions will continue to improve and do you think we'll get an improvement in your numbers? Thanks a lot, David. Uh, well, actually, uh, we uh, are on target uh, to carry 50 million passengers uh, this year, which is uh, about 15% uh, uh, higher than last year. And we've proven to be able to grow even in difficult uh, times uh, in uh, 2015 and 2016. So I would say that uh, we have in front of us uh, a positive uh, outlook. Now, 2016, you returned to profit roughly 40 billion rubles should we expect you then to exceed that amount for this year well as you know we don't uh, uh, disclose uh, we don't make uh, forward-looking uh, statements but uh, based on uh, results that we've achieved so far there's an expectation uh, to deliver another uh, satisfactory result for our shareholders are you on track at least based on your internal targets Yes, we are on track uh, because, again, uh, the, the effort that we've been uh, able to uh, put in place is balancing uh, customer satisfaction uh, through uh, uh, service improvement, uh, deliver uh, impressive growth and establish, continue to establish our float as a global carrier while uh, obviously having uh, always uh, uh, first and foremost uh, the satisfaction of our shareholders. And there, therefore, I can safely say we are on track uh, to achieve those goals. Right now, let's throw this forward to next year. I know Europe, Asia is a key priority for you. You have 13 currently, if I'm not mistaken, you can correct me if I'm wrong, 13 non-Russian destinations here in the Asia Pacific, four of which are on the Chinese mainland. Talk to us about what your priorities are in terms of routes. Should we, we expect new routes or is it more a function of more frequency? Well, uh, we've been uh, growing uh, uh, more on the frequency side and not on, uh, on adding destinations. And that's been uh, crucial uh, to enable us to have the, uh, the, the right flexibility to cope with uh, an ever-changing uh, uh, market uh, scenario. Uh, as uh, new airplanes uh, will come into our fleet, uh, new white bodies will come into our fleet in the next few years, uh, obviously we'll be looking more at uh, adding uh, destinations. And certainly the city I'm uh, uh, sitting in now, Singapore, is on top of our priority list. And on top of Singapore, what else should we possibly expect in case you, of course, choose to be, uh, I guess, more serious going down the new destination route? Well, uh, obviously the largest market uh, for aviation today in this part of the world is China, and therefore we will be looking at uh, uh, opportunities to add uh, points in, in China as well as uh, on the other side of the world uh, to the U.S., uh, which is uh, also a very important market for us. And in terms of Western Europe? We already serve uh, 52 points in Europe. Uh, we're therefore possibly one of the largest operator, non-European operators, uh, combining again a high-quality network in terms of uh, multiple frequencies throughout the day and uh, a number of points uh, served in the most important markets. So it will be more of the same, uh, which uh, is what our customers uh, demand, selected uh, additional uh, points and uh, a number of uh, frequencies added to the points that we serve. Now, in terms of your, your fleet plans, I believe back in June at the Paris Air Show, you said you were looking to finalize this deal with Airbus. A350, 28 aircraft, double the previous estimate. Is that final? Have you finalized that deal? Uh, we are progressing uh, the discussions uh, with Airbus. Uh, there are a number of things that obviously need to be addressed, uh, from cabin configuration uh, to uh, uh, technical uh, specs, uh, and therefore we are actively working uh, with our partners uh, to finalize everything in the nearest uh, term. Right, but just generally speaking, those are the details. Should we expect 28 aircraft? Should that be the uh, announcement we should be expecting? Well, the announcement, if I may, uh, David, has already been made in the sense that uh, the board of directors approved uh, the uh, uh, five-year strategy uh, that uh, included those 28 aircraft. And of the 28 new aircraft, which goes to your full-service airline and uh, which one goes to Pobeda? Well, uh, that's a very good question, David. Uh, all of those uh, will be going to uh, the uh, uh, Aeroflot-operated uh, 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 fleet. 
because at this stage we believe that uh, Pabieda should uh, uh, continue to focus on, uh, on uh, narrow body operations, therefore operating a 737-800 uh, fleet. And in line with that, uh, uh, Pabieda is already adding uh, four aircraft uh, by the end of uh, 2017 and up to uh, a total of uh, 30 aircraft by uh, 2019. Uh, very quickly, sir, oil's been rising rapidly. Are you hedged? Are you planning to hedge? Are you looking to extend duration, if, if any? No, we're not uh, hedged, and uh, uh, we believe that uh, at this stage uh, uh, our policy of uh, not hedging has proven uh, to be uh, successful, and uh, we, therefore we plan to continue that way.